How do you make sure your kids don't forget all of those concepts that you've worked so hard for them to remember? You get them to green. What does that have to do with making the math stick? Your students need to have green or better on their squares to indicate proficiency. You gotta get them to green. Let's talk about accuracy and proficiency. Accuracy is a term we're all familiar with. We earned accuracy grades as students and we've given accuracy grades to our own students. In Get More Math, Accuracy is the percentage of time students answer correctly on the first try. Proficiency is accuracy over time, the percentage of skills that are green, silver star, gold star. Proficiency is an indicator of long-term retention. It's a growth measure. Green or better means that students are still solving problems correctly on the first try, even weeks or months after learning a concept. Red and yellow squares indicate a student needs to work more on learning how to solve those problems. Green or better indicates that a student's remembering over time. That's why students need to get those skills to green or better. In fact, proficiency is greater than accuracy. Let me tell you a tale of two students. Meet accurate Annie and proficient Paul. In looking at the mixed review report for this class and for a particular skill, I can click on the accuracy and I can view the accuracy for this class. Accurate Annie is at 100%. Proficient Paul has 98% accuracy. But if I click to view the proficiency numbers, I see that Accurate Annie, while she's 100% accurate, she's only solved enough of these problems to change the color of the square to yellow. This tells me that she understood the concept on the very first day that I taught the skill, but proficient Paul is maintaining that accuracy over time. He's demonstrating long-term retention because he's changed the color of the square to gold. How to get them to green. Make sure that those assignments are small, three points per skill, that's the most you'll want to include. Make sure you're setting a daily goal every day that includes those assignment points and points for mixed review. And make sure they're working in mixed review every day so that your students have the opportunity to get those squares to green, demonstrating proficiency. Changing the square from red to yellow indicates initial mastery in an assignment. But over the long term, we want students to change the colors of those squares to green or better so that we know we're making that math stick.